This is the laptop I purchased off of eBay, an Acer 5532. You can see the numbers there. It's hard to see the serial number, but I'm sure there's a picture taken of it before it was sent to me. So I uh, bought this to replace this computer, which is an Acer 5532, but has a bad screen. And so I pulled the hard drive out of here and the memory. Here's the memory that came with the eBay unit and the Fujitsu 40 gig hard drive that came with the eBay unit. And put them in here and powered the thing up. Now you could watch the boot sequence, but I don't think it's really worthwhile for that. But the problem is, touchpad does not work. Um, you know, this part works, but the touchpad, no mouse. It does not work at all. Now, I can put a USB mouse in as such with this mouse. And then you'll see you have the mouse moves. But the pad, nothing. Doesn't, doesn't do anything. Now, this easily could have been tested. And I'm going to shut this down. Actually, just restart it. By using Heron, DVD, anything with Windows XP that boots up. I'm going to take this mouse out completely. And we'll just let this shut down. Now I don't know if there's a connector inside that wasn't put back on. That this thing was taken apart. I just I have no idea. But of course it said it was in working condition. So we'll turn it back on and hopefully it boots off of the CD. You gotta love the reflection in these screens. They drive me crazy. out and start over again because it didn't boot off the CD for some reason. Okay, so it didn't boot off the CD because I did a reset for the BIOS thinking maybe there's a setting in there though I couldn't find one but just in case there was one to turn off the pad. So it reversed the orders of these so I need to change them. Um, F5, oh, F6, F6, okay so CD first. Okay. Now we'll go save and exit again. And yes, I'll put the CD in. Okay, mini XP. And this does boot pretty fast, so it's not too bad. Though, of course, the machine, these machines are not the most powerful machines around, that's for sure. Just the fact they only have two USB ports on it is amazing. Especially for having Windows 7. So 
we're almost up. Now we're up. And you'll see it does not work. I did not try with a USB stick. I don't know what the, if that will do anything or not. Oh yeah, it starts right away. So, yep. I mean, it's fully functioning Windows, but this thing, nothing. So it's defective and not um, a perfect machine as advertised. So that concludes that. Um, more in an email. Thanks. Bye.